Hey there, viewers! Summer is quickly approaching. While things are panning out to look a lot like last summer, there's still nothing stopping you from going outside and enjoying the sun once in a while. If getting some of that natural vitamin D is on your schedule, let's talk about ways you can stay comfortable under the sun this summer. Should I wear sunglasses? How important is face protection? Do I eat foods with more water? How should I dress? We're talking all that and more. Number 1. Dress appropriately This is one people seem to be the most conscious about. When going out for a day in the sun, you want to make sure you look your best. And I'm not talking about flashy clothes that are in right now. You also want to feel your best, and that's not going to happen if you're wearing the wrong colors. That's right, colors have a lot to do with your comfort level on sunny days. Let's talk about UPF for a second, or ultraviolet protection factor. This determines just how much UV radiation your fabric will allow to reach your skin. The higher UPF on the fabric, the less likely the sun is to hurt your outer layer. In order to officially qualify, your swimwear needs a UPF of at least 30. Anything over 50 is excellent protection. What you want to do is choose between dark or bright colors. Sounds weird that two polar opposite shades have the same benefit. But these fabrics will keep the UV rays from reaching your skin through absorption. Another factor that protects you from the sun is the construction of your fabric. You want cloth that's thicker. This is usually something like denim or wool. Your attire is definitely something to consider when going out under the sun. Wow, there sure is a real science to staying comfortable on the beach. Wait till you hear these next ones. What's the worst sunburn you ever had? How did you get it? Do you know how you could have prevented it? Sound off in the comments section and start a conversation with our bestie community. Number 2. Protect your face Going out in the sun can be fun. At the same time, it's also really dangerous. You have to make sure your face is being properly protected from all those rays. Not only is a sunburn on your face super painful, it's also really awkward. Unlike other places on your body, you can't really hide a burn on the face. Unless you're willing to wear a Halloween mask everywhere for about two weeks. Even a COVID mask can't hide your peeling, red face. What you want to do is wear a hat. Make sure that the brim of the hat is wide enough. This will not only protect your head and face, but your neck and shoulders. Sunlight exposure damages your skin cells and increases your risk of developing skin cancer. A hat will also keep your head cool. There's also another thing that you can do for protection. It's a big one. Number 3. Put on sunscreen I can't say this enough. When you go out on a sunny summer day, make sure you've applied sunscreen. Not just to your face, but your entire body. Rub sunscreen on any place that isn't covered by clothing. This is one of the easiest ways to avoid sunburns, as well as the potential cancer that can come later on. Studies have shown that sunburns that happen early on in life are linked to a higher risk of melanoma skin cancer. As of 2021, it was estimated that over 100,000 people will develop melanoma, with over 7,000 people dying from it. And that's just the US alone. While cancer is a possibility in all our lives, you'll definitely feel so much better if you're wearing a type of lotion. It's recommended that you apply sunscreen 30 minutes before going outside. But which kind of sunscreen do you get? Good question! Let's talk about SPF for a second. This is short for Sun Protection Factor. You want sunscreen with an SPF of 30 or higher, so look for that on the label. Number 4. Get some shade When spending time out under the sun, you need to monitor your exposure time. Whether it's in your backyard or out at the beach, make sure there's a space for you to get some shade. And I'm not talking about just wearing a hat over your head. I mean shade that protects your entire body. Sunburns can happen quicker than you think. Depending on how much protection you have, burns can occur in less than 15 minutes. You usually don't feel it when it's happening. While you might notice the skin turn red at the half hour mark, it usually takes between 2 to 6 hours. If you like the idea of nestling under a tree, you may want to try that. If not, you can always get an umbrella. While not everyone has a patio umbrella at their disposal, an umbrella from your closet will do. Lying under the shade with a cool drink is sometimes the best way to spend a day in the sun. Before we continue, are you trying to get in shape for the summer? Well, you first need to change your diet. Yes, this includes pizza. Check out our recent video on what happens to your body when you eat pepperoni every day. Now back to our discussion on staying comfortable under the sun. Number 5. Eat the right foods That's right, there are actual foods appropriate for a day in the sun. 
When you spend time out in the heat, you want foods that are going to keep you hydrated. I'm talking about snacks with high water concentration. Now, don't think your choices are low when it comes to water-rich foods. I mean, watermelon is arguably the most popular choice. I don't think there's a food more associated with sunshine. Watermelon doesn't just get its name from nothing. The average watermelon is made from over 90% water. Aside from that, they're also super low on calories and sugar. Not to mention a ton of great vitamin A. Vitamin A will support your eye and bone health. It can also strengthen your immune system. Vitamin A has the power to reduce your risk of cancer. Some other terrific sunshine choices are oranges, blueberries, and apples. If you're in the mood for some veggies, cucumber has 96% water itself. They're also extremely high in vitamins and fiber. The sun can take a lot out of you, especially on those scorching hot days. If you eat a small snack, you'll definitely give yourself an energy boost. Number 6. Sunglasses I know we spoke about wearing the proper protection, but sunglasses need their own entry on the list. Sunglasses aren't just for a cool dude fashion statement, they really work to protect your eyes. I mean, you need something that shields you from UV rays. These rays do damage to the surface of your eyes, as well as increase your risk of cancer, glaucoma, and cataracts. A lot of people think the darker sunglasses are, the better they work. Or the thicker the lenses, the more protection they offer. That's not necessarily true. So don't go out looking for glasses as ice cubes. You'll just look strange. You want to pick a pair with the proper UV protection rate. There should normally be a label to read. You want one that says it blocks 99 to 100% of UV rays. You also want a pair that wraps around your face. This prevents exposure from UV rays on all sides. Even if you're not just planning to hang around in the sun, try your best to wear sunglasses anyways. It's important to be wearing eye protection while behind the wheel. You don't want to be blinded by the sun while driving. Number 7. Make sure you time it right. If you're planning a day in the sun, you want to be out in comfortable temperatures. This means not going out between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m., otherwise known as the hottest part of the day. Now, some people can't avoid going out during this time, especially if you work manual labor. I'm talking about construction or landscaping. Then you have to be out in the sun, and for much longer than that six-hour period. If you have no choice but to brave the heat, try your best to take breaks in the shade when you can. The sun is so powerful, we can't even comprehend it. It can affect your skin as well as your mental health. Have I sparked your interest? Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more health-related videos, shall we? Check out 8 Tips for Making Your Skin Healthier or how about 5 Signs of Depression that Should Never Be Ignored? Go ahead, click one or better yet watch both and learn more about how to be healthier this summer. What's your tip for staying comfortable under the sun? Let us know in the comments below.